some champions. Uh, scores! From the uh, select few world records from the past two weeks on the Twin Galaxies, verified by the Twin Galaxies yes. database community, whatever you want to call it. Um, these are just a select few. There's more, but these are the ones that, to be honest, I picked. So, yeah. You know, well, don't like them, then happens. tell me what I should read off. Yeah. So, if you want to get on, pay online. online. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, switcher. Boom. It's one of these. There oh. we go. Congratulations to Martin Bushway of Round Rock, Texas. Fastest completion on Kirby's Dreamland, 16 minutes, 19 seconds. Wow. Nice job. Good, awesome gameplay. We saw that a few weeks ago. We read it, so we definitely want to show it going back and forth. Nice job, Martin. Martin's new. Er. Time code on the video. Yeah, he's got, oh, yeah. yeah man. He got, he's got it down, oh, man. Damn. Good, nice. supportable evidence. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty with good. With the time man. clock. Nice job. Yeah. I mean, assuming the time code was very correct. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right frames per second. Exactly. And, uh, and it wasn't edited. <clears throat> Go ahead. Uh, is it Nick? Yeah, it must be Nick. Oh, is it me? Yeah, sorry, bud. Uh, no, that's congratulations. Me, isn't it? Oh, is it the Czech Republic one? Yep. Okay, yep. sorry. It? It's <laughs> congratulations to Radek Puzzler from the Czech Republic on the PC H1Z1 Battle Royale Most Kill Shotgun Only Regular Server Solo 27. Congratulations. Nice job. That's the uh, That game is pretty cool. And uh, they play it every Thursday night here on Twin Galaxies, so it might have been a performance from them. Uh, I know a lot of people submitted for that, but that is the highest score so far Damn. for the H1Z1 shotgun only spot. So it's pretty pretty good. Yeah. But shotgun only too, you know. Can't run them over with the car and No. It's a, that's a good it's a good kill streak, I like to call Congratulations it. Congratulations to the mosquitoes out there yeah. for killing everyone with the H one Z one. So <laughs> uh, we got the Greg Denevy, uh, the bad guy from Tron. Um, St. <laughs> Peter's, Missouri. On the Atari 2600 VCS Winter Games NTSC Speed Skating 23.4 minutes. <laughs> what a long speed. No, 23.4 seconds. Congratulations. Yes. Nice man. new world record on that. That game's, I think, it took a, that's bad. That world record's been up for, I think, more than 10 years. So nice job, Greg. Yeah. Don't no, that's me. awesome. That someone, is, that's someone's, really... someone's in the chat. She's like, Mike's wrong. It's like six years. No, that's an awesome score. That like yeah. that's a really good score. And of course, he did it. He didn't like you know when I submit something, when I screw up. Yeah. Even though it's been ten seconds, I restart. He turned on the system, hit the switches, did it. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Now he might have reset it every single that's time. That's true. But I'm too lazy to do that. No, that's the joy of our games is you get like ten submissions in <laughs> one. Yeah. Only one of them's good, but but the comedy, the commentary, the commentary is the best part. It's all about the comedy, folks. Oh, yeah, we yeah, and I think actually, uh, hug did hug dd is in uh, the chat. He enjoys my uh, rock band submissions because mm. I try to put some color into it instead that's of just good. you know just playing. You know, no, 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 no. make it comical. Um, congratulations to Wesley Powell. Of Portland, Oregon, a new world record on Double Dragon 5 for the SNES, the Shadow Falls tournament mode, 70, 731,800 points. Mm. Nice job. I don't know if that's his first or second world record, but congratulations to you. And that was a good, good run. I saw that one. What do we got going, Glenn? Glenn says? Glenn. Glenn. Oh, Congratulations uh, uh, to Clay Karzuski from uh, <laughs> Maine. Wall Street points 146,800. <laughs> yes, another score by Clay. Doing awesome jobs. Is that like the movie Wall Street? Yeah, from 1982. They made Oh, 1982. The no. movie wasn't until like 87. Yeah. Though. Well, they made the they made the movie after the video. Oh, I didn't know that was based off of. A it's movie. just like Tron. Yeah. It's based. It's oh. like based on the game. Yeah. That's wow. That's I, I take it back. There has been a couple. There's That's been true. one more good video game movie. Then I did <laughs> not realize that. Previous. All was a- previous to that game coming out, Wall Street in New York was actually called Martin Luther King Boulevard. They named it. Oh. And, yeah. It was That's afterwards. Crazy. It, they, that just crazy facts. People don't know Dang. that. Because it's true. I did not know. Why? Wow, you learn 
See, you always learn stuff on this show. This is it's an education program. Yeah. Hmm. We could get on there. <clears throat> Shows me. Uh, no, it's me. I think. Yeah, it's me. He's Glenn. I'm after Glenn. Okay, then go ahead. I think, right? Oh, yeah. Oh wait, no. No, it's my turn. No, you're before Glenn. It's it's Mike. It's Mike. Is it Mike? Okay. Glenn's Mike the technical director. Glenn. So. Doesn't matter. Uh, we can, we, can, we to, can both. No, I think I was Nick. supposed to read. Walt. It's Nick. <laughs> it's no, Nick. Whatever. Oh, I think you should all do it simultaneously. Because you read, you read. <laughs> I think I was supposed to read Wall Street. Or wait, did I read Wall Street? No, Glenn did. No, he. Oh, did he? Yes. Yes, just now. Oh, okay. Then it's me. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> even Patrick drinking. Day is not over for Nick. I didn't even drink. Uh, okay, we got. St. Patrick's Day is every day. Oh for my! Nick. Well, that's true. St. Patty's Day is every day for me. Okay, we got Kyle Nelson from Iowa. <laughs> USA, <laughs> Nintendo Entertainment System, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Tournament Fighters, 389,200 points. Congratulations, Kyle. Yes. We had, uh, I had to fight to get to read this, was... but... <laughs> What's that? points What's just that? for playing that game. It's a terrible game. Terrible. Yeah, and it's worth a lot of money, too. It I was going to say, I've never heard of it. It's, they made a it's... version of the Super Nintendo also, which is much better... But it's basically, so, imagine if Street Fighter was on the Nintendo, the original Nintendo, right? So like it's, a, it's a Turtles original. game, that's a, it's a fighting game. Yeah. It's a fighting game, yeah. exactly. That's exactly what ah. it is. That's kind of crazy. It's, I kind of want to play it's it. It's no karate champ, that's for sure. <laughs> right. Dang. It's like the worst, I mean, it's, it's terrible. Awesome. No kidding. So it's worth, so what you're saying is it's worth a lot of money. Yeah. Because they yeah. Have yeah. That's right, yeah. There's a, uh, there's a pattern. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations to Brian Woodward uh, of the United States of America on Rodland during the o the Olympics. Um, he put down the score, 713,600 points. That's a very puzzle fun game that I enjoyed during the Olympics. So congratulations to him to be a new world record on MAME. Awesome That's job. Conjured Entertainment, right? Yeah, that's the name of the forms. I think so. Yeah, so that was a very impressive score. <laughs> very fun game too. It's an impressive beard too. That yeah, is a hell of a beard. I know he's got the. Color oh, incidentally, <laughs> if you guys did not watch the Olympics, uh, the award ceremony, which you probably didn't, uh, you should know that the the enemy. Yeah. If you the enemy, so the, it was a most annoying thing about any game, or it was basically worst, most difficult enemy, and the choice that everyone voted on was getting the extra life in Rodland. Because if you get an extra life in Rodland, you have to watch like this like 60 second ridiculously long you have received an extra life. You I mean it's like this most <laughs> ridiculous time consuming yeah. thing and so everyone hated getting extra lives in the game just cuz it took like half the game to just wa read the <laughs> stupid text. It was ridiculous. It's like a, it's like a break. It's yeah, like it was like yeah, it was like it was like you could literally get up and like go get a soda or something and come back, and it was still going. Nice. Yeah. That's like the perfect. And this game was an arcade game, mind you. So you could literally like run to the bathroom and come back. I kind of. I mean, that actually kind of is nice. Nice. Yeah. You get to go. Yeah. You earn yourself. You get a break. You know, sip a pop, soda pop, right. have a smoke. Yeah, have a smoke. So you look like a cigar <laughs> should roll out of the arcade machine and just like. <laughs> that would be great. <laughs> it's like it's filler oh, time. Just comes out right. <laughs> a match pops out automatically, you know. <laughs> and the funny thing about that is, this is like such a children's game. It's so geared toward children. That would be excellent. Yeah, but that's back <laughs> then, though. You were allowed to smoke back. Right back then, yeah. Well, it's children. Made for the, the legal age for smoking back then was five, so it was yeah. that would have been okay. Yeah, and if you were three, they didn't really card you. Yeah, it was it just was like you shouldn't be doing this. this. Yeah, whatever. All right, Glenn. All right. Awesome score. He's like a Marlboro pacifier. <laughs> oh, we have a buddy who did that. He, he converted a pacifier <laughs> into a pipe or something. It was, not, it was tobacco, not anything else. Which really makes it dumber, I think. <laughs> What's the we score, have, Glenn? <laughs> <laughs> we have Nicholas Mollica on the Nintendo Entertainment System Ice Climber. NTSC points 2,977,760. Congratulations. Monster score. Looks like he yeah. almost got to Mountain 50. 
Yeah, congratulations for the Malika co- uh, cocktail there, man. That is yep. a hell of a score. Yep, and that's uh, that one's gone back quite a few times in the past year since Twin Galaxies has been back up and running. I think this is like the fourth or fifth time we've read somebody's somebody else's name is the awesome mm-hmm. part about this. So I always find the game for that awesome going through the roof. Yep. So I stock in that game. The yeah. three million coming up. Next week. Yeah, and honestly, and this is, uh, we've talked about for whatever, not even just the PSI argument, but it's been brought up. This is one of those games that has definitely benefited. Yes. From uh, being played. And, yeah, transparent, yeah. really, because all of a sudden it's like, oh, Ice Climber is like a popular game now because yeah, people right, are yeah. trying to one-up each other, which is kind of cool. And that just happened naturally via the process of the site, which is yeah. kind of cool. Yep, and then in the... In the uh... The, it creates the interest for competition. Absolutely. And creates the interest for competition, makes Ice Climber possibly fun for these people. Again. Which is cool. Which is the purpose. Making know. that game fun for me is virtually impossible. impossible. Yeah. <laughs> and, and last but not least, congratulations to Mark Singleton of the United Kingdom. Uh, 335,710 points on Le Mans for the Commodore 64. Four. In pale too. Yeah, that's how well, he, well he, he beat the NTSC score. Now we could argue oh, that's oh, easy. That. Well, people could say it's easier to play in pal because it's a slower frame rate, whatever. But he has the highest score on both. But he has the highest score in pal, so he's good to go. It's good to go. So congratulations to Mark. I believe that is his first score oh. to the Quinn Galaxies database. So hey, congratulations, awesome. Mark. That's awesome. Yeah. So welcome. Nice. A good slew of records this week. I know we got some in adjudication that I am really excited for. Um, Any sneak peeks? Uh, well, I, I'll, I'll say, well, there's some wings on the way. Oh. So oh. I'm happy for that. Ooh. Uh, They're waiting in the wings. If you I, don't know if we inf- I don't know if we influenced it or not, <laughs> but there is a virtual boy submission. Oh, you told me about which that. Which I'm very excited to Ooh, announce right on this score. Right behind me. And we tried to play that game. Yeah. I think we tried to play the pinball. Was it, we were trying um, to play pinball that night? Gosh, I don't remember. No, that's that's the it might have been. Shoot we, it was like was a shoot up game of some kind, yeah. Oh, we were playing a virtual shoot. Uh, was vertical it shoot. Red Faction or Vertical? Something? Vertical Force. Vertical Force, yeah. yeah. So, that sounds right. I like it. So I'm That's excited for that. And there's a few others I've seen in adjudication. I was hoping they would be cleared by the show. But yeah. God, we're dumb. Why now. didn't we try to play pinball? That would be so much easier if we came to play the vertical because we wanted to, Because we like because we like playing vertical shooters. That's true. But that, you're right, actually. That's true. I mean, we, like, like a we like pinball, game. too, but no, we're, we're when, not, if it's not Golgar, not then... Reason. Yeah, there's really... Oh, if it's not Go- Golgar, oh, if I'm the virtual boy... If it's not oh, Golgar... Gogar, then go home. 